What's up guys, my name is Irina and welcome back to my channel where I review everything tech. In today's video I'm gonna open the box with a brand new robot vacuum from Kyval. This is their new CyberVac E31 model with the mopping feature and thank you Kyval for sending it to me for review and without further ado let's get started and open the box. So in the box you get the robot vacuum itself, set brushes, a charging base and a power adapter, water tank with a cloth and one spare cloth, a cleaning brush, a remote with batteries, a spare filter, a magnetic strip, these adhesive pads and the manuals. Before your first use, don't forget to attach the side brush to your vacuum and also Kyval recommends you to fully charge it before you start your first cleaning. So let's be patient and put this baby on the charging base. The blinking orange color means it's charging and now it's solid blue which means it's fully charged. Okay, the vacuum is ready, the power switch is right here and then you can operate it with the power button on the vacuum or with the remote which I think is the easiest way or with the app which I'll talk about later in this video. So I think it's time to do some cleaning and test how this thing works and let's start with simple vacuuming. The CyberVac has three cleaning modes. The first one is the auto mode in which the robot vacuum cleans all the accessible space and goes in a zigzag pattern. By default it uses the medium suction power but you could change it to the max or to the minimum with the remote or through the app. The next mode is the spot mode and this one is really useful if you need to clean some specific area, for example if you dropped something and messed up the floor. So let's say we had an accident and here we have some rice, sesame and coffee and let's see how this spot mode works. As you can see it's moving in a circular pattern, it usually lasts about 2 minutes and then it stops. And if you think it's not enough and there is still some dirt left, you can make it do it again. The next mode is the edge mode and this one is really good if you feel like you need some extra cleaning along the walls, so the robot vacuum will go along the walls and the furniture paying extra attention to the edges and corners. When it comes to the least exciting part, which is cleaning the dustbin, the whole process turned out to be pretty easy. You don't have to touch any of this yucky stuff, just open it and turn it over, that's it. Well, it looks like hard floors and tiles are an easy task for this robot vacuum and its overall performance has been really good so far, so let's put some carpets in the middle of the room and see how it will handle it. The CyberVac has the auto carpet boost feature, so when it detects a carpet surface it automatically increases the power suction to the max and I'm gonna test the vacuum on different types of carpet, so the first one is a low pile carpet with short fibers and as you can see the vacuum doesn't have any problems with it at all. But the next one is a little bit more fluffy and it seems to be more difficult to handle for this robot vacuum, sometimes it gets stuck there, so it could be a bit of a bummer and I wouldn't recommend you using this vacuum on very fluffy carpets. And now let's move on to the most exciting part, the mopping. To prepare the vacuum for mopping we have to use a water tank with a cloth, so I'm gonna pull the dustbin out. In case you're wondering it's 600 milliliters and next I'm gonna insert the water tank filled with water. The capacity of the water tank is 300 milliliters. Keep in mind that you can only use plain water without any cleaning solutions since the they could damage the vacuum. If you have an uneven floor with probably some noticeable dents or bumps, it will negatively affect the cleaning, but overall I would say the robot does a pretty good job when it comes to mopping. I think the mopping feature was the one thing I felt most skeptical about, but I have to admit I was pleasantly surprised with the result. The thing I love the most is that you can adjust the water amount in the app, so it's really up to your preferences whether you want your floor to be slightly damp or really wet, so yeah, I find this feature really helpful. Helpful. Keep in mind that you cannot use the vacuum in the mopping mode on the carpet, so in this case you could use the magnetic boundary strip to set no-go areas. And speaking of the magnetic strip, you could use it to prevent your robot vacuum from going to any unwanted areas. Also, the thing is, this robot will start climbing anything that is shorter than 15 millimeters. For example, it always tries to climb the display stand, which is sometimes here on the floor, and oftentimes it gets stuck 
there. So to prevent this kind of situation, I just put a magnetic strip here and the problem is solved. By the way, let me show you how this dedicated cable app works. It's available on Android as well as on the iOS. One of the coolest features is that you can track the robot's movements in real time and see the cleaned area on the map. Also, you can fully operate your robot vacuum in this app. You can make it start cleaning, choose a cleaning mode, adjust the suction power. You can also schedule the cleaning, so you could pick the day and time and create your own cleaning plan. And as I previously said, you can adjust the water amount when the vacuum is in the mopping mode. Also, the CyberVac is compatible with Google Assistant and Alexa, so it supports the voice control, which could make the whole cleaning process even easier for you. When it comes to going home to the charging base, you just push this home button and the robot will start moving to the base, or when the battery is very low, the vacuum will start returning to the charging base on its own. If the robot is far away from the base, it may take some time to find the way home. The robot could make some extra circles, but eventually it will get to the base. I don't have any stairs in my apartment, but I was curious to know how this robot handles this type of situation. So let's do a quick test and put it on the table. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job at detecting the edges of the table. So you don't have to worry that the vacuum will fall down the stairs and break. When it comes to battery life, the company promises us two and a half hours of runtime with the power mode set to the minimum. And from my experience, this robot vacuum lasts even longer, especially taking into account that most of the time it was in the medium power mode. I think one of the best things about having a robot vacuum is that it can easily reach and clean the places that you were not able to do with your traditional vacuum. For example, under a bed or a couch. I have a king-size bed and it was absolutely impossible to reach the middle of the space under my bed. And as you can see, this robot has no problem with that at all. Well, overall, I have quite positive impressions of this robot vacuum from Kyval. Just like other robot vacuums, it's not perfect, it can get stuck, and it still has some limitations. For example, it won't jump over tall thresholds and so on. But still, it does its job pretty well. And as I previously said, I was especially impressed with pretty good mopping. Let me know in the comments below if you have a robot vacuum at your home or if you're thinking about getting one. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys and see you in the next one.